on the Fox 35 Money Watch today. Retiring might sound like it's a long ways away for you, and for some it is. For others, it's not so far away. But no matter who you are, there are things you need to really think about as you plan for your retirement days. Our friend Joe Burke from Certified Financial is here to help us uh, continue what we started talking about last week. And before we go on to this week's tips, I want to recap what we talked about last week. First of all, start saving as early as you can, Sooner ideally by 25 at least. Yep. Uh, you need to keep in mind whether you get a 401k match from your company and save no matter what and use exactly. that 401k. Yep. Avoid cashing out your 401k and keep the age you're going to collect Social Security in mind. Yep. Okay, that said, let's get on to this All week's right. tips. Meeting Medicare's deadlines. This is something that I think a lot of people don't think about until it's too late. Well, when you turn age 65, you got to file for Medicare, okay? And if, you don't, if you're not covered by your employers, many people still working past 65, so you don't have to file for Part B, but as soon as you become eligible for Part B because you're no longer covered by your employer, mm -hmm. if you don't do it, then you're going to pay a 10% penalty for every 12 months that you delay, and you carry that penalty on your Medicare premium for the rest of your life. So do it three months before you turn 65 or within three months after 65 to avoid that penalty. And they're just going to be taking money from you. Exactly. All right, uh, the age you retire. Well, unfortunately, we see many people that want to hang it up early, and what we have to recognize, Tom, is that you and I, statistically, are going to live a lot longer than our parents and grandparents. Mm -hmm. You know, medical science being what it is today, when we do retirement planning, we plan on, on the male living to at least age 87 when the female living to age 93. And, you know, if you retire at age 55, I, as a financial planner, I've got to worry about 30, 35 years of longevity for you. Many people are going to be more in retirement than they did their working years. So retiring too soon can be a disaster. And you, <laughs> so and, try and, to wait as long as you and, can. And if you, you, most people in their later years are in their prime earning years. So you're yeah. giving up that prime earning. Working another year or two can make a huge difference when you get to be 75 and 80 years old. Yeah, because every year that, that interest on the money you've saved up compounds some more. Exactly. All right, remembering to take required minimum distributions. Out of your IRA and 401k, when you turn 70 and a half, the government says you have to start withdrawing from your account. Okay. The, the minimum amount that you take out at, at age 70 and a half is 3.65% of what the balance was last year. But if you don't take it out, you have to pay a 50% penalty on what you should taken out plus the taxes the taxes plus 50 percent so don't miss that. it's a very very important date there are a lot of numbers to keep track of yep. good reasons to talk to somebody well, that's like why you. we do it day in and day out all right thanks joe all right tom good to see you